Hi everyone, this is Ashley and this is homework 9 and over here to the left are our instructions. The highlighted items are the mandatory parts to sending an email. So first off I'm going to tell you what I did in Postgres. Now if I open up my database which I created called MPR 360 and in MPR 360 I had to create two tables CMOM, um, well CMOM 2 and CMOM participants right here I open up CMOM2, you can see the code that I gave here, and that code I retrieved from the cookbook, which is our main, um, our main resource for doing these projects and homework. And also, I had to create the CMOM2 participants. I had to name it 2 because I had to do it a second time. And this code right here will then communicate to our Eclipse and um, so forth. So Eclipse is right here. I've already pulled it up for us. I pulled it up from my Eclipse folder. I just ran Eclipse. And in my Eclipse, I actually have listed up here to the top. You have to go to base, source, org, compare, and model to find these two tables here in Eclipse. So if I go down to X, CMOM X CMOM2 participants and X CMOM2.java. So both of these are now in Eclipse. And you can see up here when I go to run and run configurations that I have set up some specific arguments. So I have my Adempier argu argument, which will open Adempier, and my generate model for CMOM. And this is the code and the argument that I have for that indicating CMOM2. Now, if I go ahead and run a Dempierre, I can run it this way or there's a shortcut way up here with a run a Dempierre already running. So now in the red part, we need to make sure that right here says a Dempierre 360, which is a new database that I just made. You can test your database, it checks out. So you can go ahead and open it up as Garden Admin and proceed with that. Garden World Admin. And now as it's opening up, I'm going to show you in the menu my mom2 information. I have a window called mom2, and in mom2, I have my mom2, my CMOM tab, and my mom2 participants tab. And as I was doing this before, I had created this, this mom2, right, this specific mom2 information here. And as you can see, I had simply updated it right here that says test 3. Instead of test 2, I had updated and said test, test 3. Now the significance of this is whenever I change anything in MOM2, there's going to be code or information sent to Eclipse. So if I go back over here to Eclipse, you can see that I have my um, XCMOM2 code listed here. And I'm not going to walk you through all of that, but it, it, it compiles over itself. Now you have your mmom2 code, which is something that you would have to type up yourself with the import Java. And down here where it says after save, this piece is important because, like I had said, when I changed test 2 to test 3 in Adempierre, then after save, after I try to save that piece, this Eclipse will run through this code and it will send an email to my professor. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up my email and show you that my email sent. So if I go to my email and then show you right here to sent mail, then I was able to go ahead and send this email to my professor. And it simply says that test 2 has been updated in the system. Follow, following is the agenda mentioned. So test 3 is now test 2. And it worked. So that's fabulous. And that is simply the end of homework 9. Thank you for listening.